Hey, new review today. Very excited to bring you Mech Bands Toys MS28 Thunderbolt Mechanic Studios. <laughs> this is the last of the Decepticon triple changers that we've gotten from uh, Mech Bands Toys. I did get this from thechosenprime.com. So very excited to get him. Uh, Blitzwing is my favorite. So this is a legend scale uh, Blitzwing. So he's my favorite of the triple changers. So very happy to have him. So all the stuff, you know, fighter model, tank model, warrior model, and that kind of that kind of junk, you know. Stuff on the bottom, you know, art on the top. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. First, I just want to show off what comes in the box. Your instruction manual, of course, separated into two, <laughs> as per usual for Mech Fan Stories. You know it's quality. The back page does have some uh, shots of some, some new toys, so that's cool. So, a Springer and a uh, Rekar. So, that's neat. So, you get that. And you also get them. I'm just going to show it off here because I'm not going to put it on. But uh, a very nice head. So kind of based on the animated head. I wish the mouth was painted on the inside. But it does have a red eye. Some cracks and stuff. So pretty cool. Just uh, need to unscrew it there. That's why I'm not replacing it. But yeah. Pretty cool. And of course weapons and stuff. I'll show that off in a minute. Okay, so here we have Thunderbolt in his tank mode, and it looks really great. I'm super <laughs> impressed by this toy. This is this is really great. It's uh, good. Definitely the best uh, Legends uh, Blitzwing that we've gotten. So very very cool. Yeah. So yeah, some nice detail in the treads there. Love the coloration. Yeah, you know, there's some thrusters back there, you know, so you can go fast. It uh, does have wheels, so that's nice. And, I mean, as you can see from the underside, you can tell kind of how it's going to work, just like Blitzwing <laughs> would. So, yeah, very, very cool. He does also come with inside the box, of course, uh, weapons. Now, uh, kind of a la uh, Mac Fans Toys Way, you can store these on one of the modes. <laughs> Uh, so you can, there's a little tab here, you can put it in right there, just take a closer look at the gun, very G1 gun, and of course sword is painted, so that's cool, but yeah, a little tab right there, just goes right there, and a little tab for holding the other side for the sword, and you know, you could do that just for storage if you want, doesn't look too bad, it's a tank, so you know, extra armament on the tanks not too bad but we'll just leave it off for now and let's bring in some of his brethren to take a closer look oops there we have iron skies so their version of uh, astro train looking good together the original two so looking pretty good you know as far as size you know pretty comparable and we'll bring in, you know, number three as well, <laughs> which also really good figure. So Octane, uh, Poison. Yep, that's what they called them. So they look really good together. Uh, really, really fantastic. So impressed. And we'll just get him from here into his uh, jet mode. And that should be pretty simple. So let's get to that. Let me just readjust here. Okay, so what we want to do is kind of similar to all the other blitz wings. You just want to separate this piece, and uh, it will tab. There's a little tab right there that goes in that hole, and then this piece will overlay on that one. So let's bring that down. Same deal over here, and oh, peekaboo, there's his head. So, yeah, uh, you got all that going, and let's see here. Let's just take care of the head, because that's unsightly. So you open up this panel, and there's the nose cone. Flip it out, turn it, put that in, bring this in, and this is on a little ball joint here, so you want to 
fold this is on hinge as well so you have to fold that and let's turn it in there boom so pretty much got the jet going already you do want to separate this a little bit so you can get these out and i love that they're painted you know to look like they're die cast as well so that's pretty cool i'm gonna fold these up and then fold these over that little section there, little tab. There you go. And this will uh, fold up and that'll tab in there. So, so open it up and fold it in. There you go. And as far as the cannon, you can just have it like that, and he can have the cannon in the front, which is cool, which is fine. Uh, but, you know, what you want to do is this will uh, roll forward and then turn around. Let's see here. Oops. And then you, in the instructions, you want to push it back here. Now, if you push it back all the way, he'll stand up fine. In the instructions, I believe you want to have it uh, closer to the front so it hides better but then he's kind of always taken off but you know kind of up to you so well yeah uh jet mode uh looks pretty good uh probably a worse mode i would say is weaker mode but um but still looks really good i love that you know from the original two triple changers the subcon triple changers the complete change in color you know that you have from mode to mode so that's cool this little section doesn't work as well unfortunately uh, but the guns are a nice touch and uh, you know it works good enough it's 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 good it's a jet for sure so uh cool credit where credit's due now as far as storage i i don't know I don't know. I haven't figured it out, so it's not in the instructions, and uh, I really, I really can't can't see anything where they would go. So, you know, I'll a G one just you know put him to the side. So, all right. So we'll just leave him here, and we'll get some comparisons going. Okay, so here's Iron Sky again. In his shuttle mode. Good comparison there as to what they look like side by side. So, very cool. And we'll bring in Poison as well. He's got quite a big of a, quite a bit of a wingspan. So, quite a bit bigger. But, yeah. Uh, look pretty good together. I like it. A lot. Definitely think he might be the, the best so far so yeah all right so from here let's just get right in to robot mode so gotta undo some of this stuff that we did so kind of open this up again so we can turn this back around fold it up and get the head out, fold this in, and then now we can move the head to where it's supposed to go. So, right there. So, yeah. And then we'll separate this. So, this little panel goes over the wing part. And we want to bring this all the way up. So... Yep. And the cannon will stay there. This will kind of collapse in. Does just kind of clip in there in the back. So, yeah. All right. And then we want to separate the legs and open them up right there. We'll just do one at a time. And let's see, it'll unfurl. And you want to turn the thigh and 
collapse it back up. Like this. And you could fold that in if you wanted to have more of a G1 look, I guess you could kind of leave it out. But uh, it doesn't really work as his foot. So, but ultimately his foot will just be the thruster kind of cut in half there. So, so if you wanted to have that out, I guess you could. But you want to put that in. So. So we'll kind of do the same. Get these out of the way. Kind of do the same on this side. So open this panel up. There you go. And then turn the thigh around. And for the leg. And let's see. There you go. And have this all opened and this should all kind of tab in place there so there he is all right so there he is and we'll get this uh, moved back so you want this hinge all the way down like that so And we'll start folding everything back. So, so you want to fold all that back and then fold it in and then fold that down. And there you go. Easy peasy. And then his shoulders will peg in to those sections there. There you go. And his hands. He needs his hands. So you want to open this panel up. And then his hands will actually rotate out. Pretty stiff on his hands. But not complaining. And make sure everything's kind of locked in place. Best it can be. And there you have Thunderbolt. These, oh, super stiff. Right out the box, so. But yeah, there is Thunderbolt. Looking very cool, very, very G1. So, really appreciate it. Give him his sword and his gun. Very cool looking super happy with this guy so take a closer look at the head there it's got a nice painted visor yeah looks good even the backpack's not that bad so yeah very happy with them so articulation wise uh the shoulder it'll go up it'll go out that you know that might come loose a little bit these are on a ball joint to allow for more mobility. So the swivel, you saw the elbow, nothing at the wrist except for uh, that for the transformation. Nothing at the waist, but he does his hips here, kind of goes out of the way so you can do the high kicks and splits and obviously swivel there, knee, just that much. And then the toes because of transformation. And of course his head, you know, do all kinds of stuff. So he does because, oh, oops. This is coming loose there. Because the way he transforms, he does end up with a little gap right there, but it's not too bad. So don't hate it. Yeah. But yeah, he looks stupendous. So really, really happy with it. So let's go ahead and uh, bring in the rest of the triple changers for a comparison. Okay, so we'll bring back Iron Sky. See what it looks like with him and poison. So 
Finally, we have them, all three triple changers. So of the Decepticon variety. So yeah, very excited to get him. Super, super happy with him. Uh, love the uh, engineering, keeping it simple, kind of like, uh, you know, all of them, honestly. Uh, think uh, Octane or uh, Poison probably has the most complicated transformation, but uh, it's also not that different from the G1. So they all keep uh, pretty close. So yeah, very happy with him. As I said, did get him from the thechosenprime.com. Uh, super happy to have a full set of Legends scale uh, triple changers. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the review and the toy. And I will talk to you guys on the next one.